Tay joins me again now. Andrew, good to see you. Salam alaikum, Pierce. Good to see you. I've, I've genuinely been amazed by the reaction I've had in the streets. Not just here, but I went to Qatar for the World Cup, had the same thing there. A lot of people coming up about Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously, but also a lot of people coming up about you. And they were almost exclusively men, young men, who genuinely see you as a role model, as somebody who inspires them, as somebody they want to be like. Yeah. So it made me think, I, the first interview you had was quite combative, the second time, uh, a shorter interview, less so. I want to try and work out, in this one, who you are, because it struck me as extraordinary that Google this week revealed some stats for the year. The number one person whose name followed people Google searching who is in 2022 was Andrew Tate. Yeah, that's quite remarkable. I think there's a whole swath of the population, especially young men that feel disenfranchised. They feel disenfranchised with the media machine and the things they're supposed to believe.